Thunkable Modules allows you to save and reuse combinations of UI components and blocks in your projects. They're your secret weapon for efficiency, consistency, and creativity. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create, share, import, copy, and edit modules. Let's start by creating a module. On your Thunkable Projects page, click Modules in the sidebar, and then click Create a new module. Name your module. Each module also has its own privacy setting. Public modules can be shared with other creators, while private modules cannot be shared on their own. But it's important to note that a public project with private modules can be shared. This is the component editor. You'll notice it looks similar to the editor you're used to designing in, but it has a green banner to differentiate it. In addition, the screen has a default group component where you can build your module. You can resize the module as necessary to achieve your desired design, and then drag and drop components into the group to design your module's user interface. We'll create a custom header that we can reuse across our screens and projects. We'll apply our brand styling once, and then we can reuse the component whenever we need. And let's add a description of our module in the component settings. When you're happy with your module, you can publish it to make it available to import into projects. Click the Publish icon in the upper right. Include release notes. For future iterations, you'll include what changed in the version. Click Publish. The module is now available for you to add to your projects, so let's explore that. Navigate back to your project's home screen and open the project you'd like to import your module into. On the Project's Design tab, click the plus icon at the top of the Add Component Library. Here, you can either import from a public gallery of modules, a list of your published modules, or paste a shared module link. We'll talk more about shared module links in a moment. The newly imported module is available under the Modules heading in the Components Library. All that's left to do is drag the module onto your screens. And if you realize you want to revise your module, navigate to your modules page and click the pencil icon associated with the module you want to edit. Let's add the functionality that if a user clicks on the logo, they'll be taken to the Thunkable website. Click blocks, expand the group, click the image name, and drag the when image click block into the workspace. Click control, drag the open link block, and drop it within the when image click block. We want to open thunkable.com so this is perfect, but this block is editable so you can easily add your organization's URL, and let's provide the user with a short message if there is an error. Return to the Design tab and drag a label into the module. We only want this label to display if there is an error opening the link, so we'll change its default visibility property to Invisible. Return to the Blocks tab. Click the error label's name in the component tree, drag the Set Labels Visible to True block, and nest it within the Open Link block. Now that we've made the necessary changes to our module, we'll publish it again. Now to apply the edits to a previously imported module, open the project containing the module and hover over the imported module in the component library to display the module's details and click Update to apply your revisions to the modules within this project. It's important to note that this action can't be undone and will change all instances of this imported module used in this project. Click Update to confirm, Let's test it. Great. So far, we've created, published, imported, and edited a module, but you can also share modules with other creators. Sharing modules is easy. Ensure the module is public, and click the Share icon in the component editor to copy the module's unique URL. Share this URL with other creators, and they can import the most recently published version of your module into their own projects. Within the module import modal, they simply paste the URL you shared with them. Easy peasy. Lastly, if you want to make a copy of a module, head back to your modules page and click the copy icon associated with the module you want to duplicate. The copy opens for you to rework as you see fit. And there you have it. We told you modules are your secret weapon for efficiency, consistency, and creativity. If you learned something new in this video, give it a like, and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more great content. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, innovation should have no limits.